Howdy, this is Lemmy with RevZilla, here to talk to you today about Galfer brake rotors and pads for Harley. You should be looking into a set of Galfer pads or rotors for your motorcycle if you like to stop. Now, Galfer's currently making these for a wide variety of Harley Davidsons, both sporties and big twins alike. I'd recommend you use the bike finder. We're gonna show you exactly the pads and rotors that will fit your motorcycle and all the options that Galfer makes for you. Now, installation on these is not particularly difficult, but I'm still gonna push it into the two beard category on our beard scale of difficulty. Installation on these parts is simple, but they're also really critical. We're gonna go over a little bit more installation in just a bit, but you should know that just about everybody should be able to do this job. You just wanna be careful when you're doing it because brakes are important. Now you may or may not be familiar with Galfer. Galfer is actually really well known in the sport market. They do lots of stuff with sport bikes, a lot of performance braking. Um, so it's kind of from that background that they've approached Harley Davidson brake products. Now I'm gonna run you through a couple of the products they have up here. Just about all of these are gonna be applicable to a Harley Davidson depending on what you have. Obviously they're gonna be specific to your model of bike. Now we're gonna start over here with their 1370 and 1371 pads. These are a full centered pad. And just so you know exactly what it is that you're dealing with, 1370 and 1371 are kind of codes. 1370 are front pads and the 1371s are rear. It'll help you identify exactly what it is when you're what it is that you're looking at when you pull them out of the box after you order or when you're looking them up on the website. Now you should realize that these things are full centered pads and that means they achieve a friction rating of double H, the highest friction rating a brake pad can receive. Now one of the things you should be aware is that in order to attain that high level of braking friction, they're very aggressive to rotors. They wanna be run at really hot temperatures and these things can also be a little bit noisy. Now the reason I'm mentioning all this is because these are specifically designed for hot rod riders. If you're riding your bike really, really hard and you're really working out the brakes, a centered pad might be for you. However, if you're kind of a Sunday driver, there's some other products that might work out a little bit better for you. The other group of riders who might wanna consider a, a pad like this are those of you who are riding a heavy bike loaded up for touring often. It's very easy to heat the brakes very quickly and a centered pad can sort of undergo the assault that a heavy bike can place onto the brake pads. Now, for those of you who are riding a little bit more gently, if you're out for that Sunday ride sort of a deal, you might wanna look at the 1054 pad. Now, this is a semi-metallic pad. This pad's a little bit softer. It's gonna provide a little bit less aggressiveness, a little bit less bite. Now, what you're getting instead here is a pad that is a little bit quieter. It's also less aggressive to your rotors. For most riders who are riding around in their Harley, they're not tearing around at breakneck speed, especially those of you on lighter bikes, a 1054 pad should be right up your alley. Now moving on down the line, when we look at this half of the table, you can see we've got a couple of brake rotors here. Now again, going back to Galfer's sport bike heritage, you notice the first thing we've got up here is a full floater rotor. Now obviously these have been in use for a pretty long time, but even Harley Davidson themselves have started putting full floater rotors on bikes, but it's not all of them. Now if you have a bike and you're looking to upgrade the brake system and you don't have a fully floating rotor, this is what you're gonna wanna look at. Now for those of you who need a little bit of education on what a fully floating rotor is. What that is is basically a two-piece rotor. You've got the outer braking surface connected to an inner carrier, and those parts can move slightly independently of each other. It allows for heat expansion, so if you're riding the bike really hard, you're not gonna get all sorts of weird brake activity. The other thing it allows for, too, is just a little bit of lateral movement, so it can provide better feel at the lever or the pedal, depending on where that brake is installed. Now, of course, if you're looking for something a little bit more traditional, they've also got standard wave rotors here. Now, wave rotors are kind of cool because that wave, again, that outer sort of pattern on the rotor helps to dissipate heat a little bit better because you've got a little bit more surface area there. Obviously, there's a style component here and you can see there is also a strong visual component uh, that's associated with this skull rotor you can see over here. Now let's talk just a little bit about that installation component we touched on a little bit earlier. Like I mentioned, this is a two bearder on our beard scale of difficulty and it's not because these are hard to do. They're actually pretty simple. Working on a Harley brake system is not miserable at all and most home mechanics should be able to do it, but it is mission critical that you do this stuff correctly. Brakes are a really important safety item. So you wanna make sure you have your factory manual out, you wanna make sure you're using proper torque values as well as thread locker where it is required, but all of this stuff is pretty easy to install for a home mechanic uh, with an average set of hand tools. If you're new to brake stuff, we've got all sorts of resources to help you. We've got an excellent video on bleeding brakes, we've also got one on swapping out brake pads. If you wanna check those out, it should help you feel confident that when you buy these, you can install them yourself quite successfully. 
Now, if it's not immediately evident, I really like Galfer products. I've used them on a lot of bikes, and I really like the racy dynamic they're bringing to Harley Davidson. Don't take my word for it, though. Check out some rider reviews from folks who are using Galfer products on a rig similar to yours. If you've still got questions at the end of that, at the end of watching this video, or perhaps checking out some other rider input on this, don't be afraid to get in touch with one of our gear geeks for a little bit of individualized attention. 877-792-9455. I'll get you a gear geek by phone, or of course, you can always drop us an email, cs at I'm Lemmy. I'm out of here.